Hello, my name is Ross Pink and I'd like to do some experiments on a permanent magnet motor suitable for going into an electric vehicle. In order to drive this motor we're going to need to have a power stage and I'll be just borrowed a power stage out of a commercial variable speed drive. We also need some electronics to do the controls, the various control loops and actually operate in the outputs that are going to drive the IGBTs and the oscilloscope to see what waveforms are going on and whatnot. So initially, before I get started, I need to be able to set up the, <clears throat> the motor. Uh, this motor has got a resolver on it, which tells where the rotor is. This is necessary for a permanent magnet motor to actually make it function properly. So if I ask for a slow rotating current vector in three phases, um, if I can adjust that voltage and current to a suitable amount and have a frequency that's slow enough, I can probably get that rotor to actually turn a bit like a stepper motor. So here we are now, turn it on. Yes, yeah, sure enough, it uh, appears to be running a bit like a stepper motor. I can change the speed on this pot here. He said, there we go. All right, even change the direction. So when it's doing that, it's convenient to have a look at um, two signals on the crow. So we actually have the angle which is producing that three phase current vector it goes from 0 to 360 degrees we can see that here uh, as well as that we have the output from the resolver and we see there's a resolver operating at the top and they appear to be pretty much in phase now if we don't have enough voltage the motor will actually stall and i'm turning down the, the voltage now eventually it's going to stall there we go so it's not turning anymore but the electrical angle is still changing so i just go up and cut it again all right, so having set all this up, we do have um, two controllers here, an EDM, which uh, consists of a processor. That's what it looks like inside. Um, it's quite small and compact and can be mounted on another piece of equipment, a motherboard of some sort. But here it's got a lot of terminals and plugs and whatnot, makes it easy to use. But we need to be able to measure current. So here we have a three phase current measurement, red, white and blue, which is coming out of this thing's power stage. We notice up here that we've got IGBT drivers, six of them coming in three pairs, high, low, high, low, high, low. And we have to provide a voltage to run that switching supply, which is providing the voltages for that IGBT drive. The IGBT drive, uh, gates themselves are inside. We can't see them and they're sitting on the heat sink at the bottom there. So we've already set this up and now we can go back to a speed control mode and demonstrate how it can work as a torque type drive or a speed control drive. All right, there we go. So we've got a, a forward button and a reverse button. And here it is at limited current. This motor is uh, quite powerful, maybe um, even 100, and, sorry, 50 kilowatts or 90 kilowatts peak. And here I think I've limited the current to about um, 12 amps. Anyway, there it is doing its job in current limit, forward, reverse. Thank <laughs> you.